An introductory paragraph needs two things, a strong lead and a thesis statement. A lead captures a reader's attention. Remember, your introductory paragraph introduces your reader to your topic, to your state. These leads are also called hooks. The lead is followed by a thesis statement that briefly and clearly tells the reader what the piece is about. Here is a paragraph with a strong lead and a good, clear thesis statement. The lead comes first, to hook the reader. We capture the attention of the reader with a descriptive segment. The mirror above the dresser rattles. The lamp begins to flicker. It feels like a giant is gently shaking the room. A few seconds later, the movement stops. The earthquake is over. Then, the thesis statement closes out the introductory paragraph. More than a million earthquakes occur in the world each year. Generally, this is how these two parts of the introductory paragraph are arranged. The lead comes first, followed by the thesis statement. These are a few types of leads, although there are many more. First, there's an amazing or unusual fact. What unique fact have you discovered about your state? Another type of lead is a descriptive segment. You may describe a beautiful setting from your state or a wonderful meal. A quote is a great lead, especially if you found a quote spoken by a famous person from your state. Students tend to overuse this type of lead and you can end up sounding very third grade. But a well-written question can be an effective lead. A bold opinion is a strong statement about something you have discovered about your state. An unusual statistic can be a great lead. For example, the population of the entire state of Montana is just over 1 million people, less than the population of the city of San Diego. This statistic could make a really great lead.